Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the coming Mercury retrograde. Now, as we speak, we have Venus, we have Jupiter, we have Saturn, we have Pluto all retrograde at this point in time, which means things have to go back. We have to really look past and review things in order to improve and make a better future. But what I'm seeing is when Mercury goes retrograde, this is going to be really intense because Mercury rules our thinking, our communications. It rules how we connect to people. And with it retrograde, with all the other planets retrograde, we've got some serious time frame to go back and revisit things and heal things. So Mercury is going to turn retrograde June 18th, and it will turn direct by July 12th. So that's three weeks that this is going to be very intense. Now on those dates, that Mercury does turn retrograde and turn direct, it will be stationed. And those degrees will be on June 18th, 20 degrees of Gemini. And when it turns direct on July 12th, it will turn direct at 11 degrees of Gemini. Now realize if you have any planets around those degrees, this Mercury retrograde is going to be more intense for you because this is the stationary point and wherever the house of Gemini occurs for you is going to be important. I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But Mercury being retrograde in the sign of Gemini is so powerful. For what? Travel? Travel will go haywire. I don't think the travel bans will be lifted because things are going to go wrong. Possibly even uh, problems with aircrafts, mechanicals. I hope there's nothing to do with any crashes, but airplanes are going to be a source of trouble. And I think that they have been a source of trouble in terms of carrying disease from country to country. I think that's going to have to stop. So the world is going to be in disconnect because of this. Plus, don't forget, we have a solar eclipse happening the same time with this Mercury retrograde. How intense can it be? It feels like the world is going crazy during this time. There's so many things that are going haywire and this deals with our communications. So I think so many things we didn't know about are going to surface because of the eclipse. And furthermore, it's about things from the past we didn't know about that will come back for us to revisit. Another thing is, this is a Mercury retrograde that it's going to be primarily in the sign of connections and how we think. So we have to review everything that we have been looking at before because it is time to reflect, review, reanalyze, reassess, everything to do with going back and reviewing. We can't move forward at this time, not with Mercury retrograde. Otherwise, things are going to go more haywire. And Mercury does rule communications such as the internet and computers that has the potential to go crazy as well. So be aware that this is not the time to make any new plans. So looking at this, let's go over your ascendant according to how this can affect you during this period. So if you are a Gemini ascendant or a Gemini moon, and remember, I am talking about sidereal astrology. I am not talking about tropical Western. And if you need to know your sidereal placements, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org and go to my free chart calculator. This will be how you can figure out what your ascendant which is your Lagna or your Ascendant rising sign or your moon. Both are very important. The Ascendant gives you a sense of how you're feeling. I mean, what's going on in your life physically, whereas the moon deals with how you're feeling about it. So both are very, very important. Look at both those signs when you figure out your sidereal placement. So going back to Gemini, 
If your ascendant or moon are in Gemini, this is going to be very, very intense for you because you have the eclipse and Mercury retrograde. It's time for you to really do some reassessing and reanalyzing re your life. Your direction, the course that you're taking, everything about your life is surfacing, but it's time for a change. And this change, you have to reassess. And you're going to find that your life is going to be totally different after this eclipse and Mercury retrograde. So if your ascendant is Cancer, there's a lot of things coming back from the past. And pay attention to your dreams. This is all occurring in your 12th house. And the past deals specifically with people you've known before, old memories, and things like this will come up in your dreams. There's something for you to heal from the past to reassess, to reanalyze, because you're going to get your answers to really change some variables that need to be changed in your life. Let go of the past. So if your ascendant is Leo, that means that this Mercury retrograde is occurring in your 11th house, which means friends, groups, these people, old friends in your life may reemerge, re but there's something for you to heal through this. It's not going to be the same. And you will see people differently, your friends. And this may even have an effect on your older sibling, if you have one, that this, there's something for you to reassess and heal, go back, look at, to heal with a sibling. Another thing is, if your mother's still alive, make sure that she's okay because she's going through so much emotional, emotional stress, psychological problems and things with the mother. And probably there's a lot of fear and you can help. But <clears throat> you're going to be changing friends and friends from the past will reemerge. So if your ascendant is Virgo. This Mercury retrograde is going to be even more powerful for you since it is your chart ruler. And the things that have to change, the things you have to reassess and reanalyze are going to be your work and your career. Those are going to be the things that you've got to go back and reassess. And you might find that there's some major shifts and changes in your business, in your work. You got to change things. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So that's where you have to go back and reassess. So if your ascendant or your moon sign is in Libra, then this means that the Mercury retrograde is happening in your ninth house. And this is the house that deals with your truth, your spirituality. You're really reassessing what you think and feel about what's going on in your life. And that's a good thing. Also be aware there can be some issues that arise concerning what your father during this time, because the ninth house deals with fathers. It also deals with higher education and teachers. There's something you have to reassess and reanalyze and go over with this variable in your life. If your ascendant or your moon is in Scorpio, then this is a very interesting time for you because I'm seeing where this all goes to the eighth house. The eighth house is the house of deep, dark secrets and things are going to come up, things you didn't know. But this is an incredible healing. Go for it. Don't be afraid. Although there's going to be intense fear with remembering and seeing things from your past. But go for it. This is a time of deep psychological transformational change, which can change your life forever for the better. But you got to face some of the darkness and the fears. So if your ascendant or your moon is in Sagittarius, this means that the Mercury retrogrades in your seventh house of relationships, your partners coming up in the world, but there's things that have to be reassessed, reorganized, looked at before there can be move forward movement. So if you're in a relationship, take the time to communicate better with your partner, see what they want, see what they need and review it, correct it because this is the time for healing relationships. So if your ascendant or your moon are in Capricorn, then this means you got to watch your health 
because these planets are in your sixth house take care of yourself and also be aware that there's something maybe you have to revisit looking at people that you work with or employees you have to make sure that you're you're clear and concise with them and this is not the time to adopt a new pet because these are all the variables that deal with the sixth house so if your ascendant or your moon is in Aquarius, then that means that the Mercury retrogrades in the fifth house. If you have children, please be aware they need your attention. They are going to be acting out. That's what the fifth house is about. Plus it's time for your creativity. It's time that you're going to re reorganize certain aspects of things with your self-expression, maybe with writing books, maybe with uh investments this is time for you to go back and reassess these things not to move forward so if your ascendant or your moon is in pisces then this means it's not the time to buy a new home it's time for you to reassess things going forward with your new home yes you can buy a new home maybe a month after this but not during this three week period and it's time for you to fix things in your house because if you don't they're going to break when mercury's retrograde with rahu during the time of an eclipse so if you've been putting off that home improvements maybe you should do it before mercury goes retrograde because everything's going to kind of break down during that time plus be aware that your family there's things that you have to reassess and get together with and understand better where they're coming from communications are key so if your ascendant or your moon is in aries this is a very specific time for you to pay attention it's not the time to travel these planets go to your third house but please be aware maybe a sibling needs your help during this time make sure your communications are together and that you understand what they're trying to say and express maybe they need help and you are the only one that can assist take this time to reassess that if your ascendant or your moon are in Taurus this is a time for you to reassess your financial situation this all falls in the second house it's not time to buy new things it's time to reassess your expenditure what you're putting your money into it's only mainly this month of june that you've got to be extra extra careful and please make sure that when it comes to what you're eating you're eating healthy that could be a major issue if you're not careful you could get sick food poisoning and who knows there could be some kind of virus out there i don't want to put fear in you but please be careful about your health and that really goes to capricorn ascendants as well as taurus ascendants so and moons by the way so with that i'd like to close if you would like more information about me about getting my free newsletter or a consultation go to my website which is galacticcenter.org or if you would like to learn vedic astrology i have a university that is stellar and we are going to be setting up a new first semester in July not in June <laughs> but check it out it's really the way to learn Vedic astrology I work with my students personally and we talk every week so check it out universityofvedicastrology.com thank you